Guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is February 14, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, a huge blast rocks Iran key gas pipeline, a massive fireball of smoke were captured in video circulating online. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. Uh, you have Putin and the Red Dragon leader will regret challenging Sleeping Giant. All right, so this is coming out from Mr. Chuck, the Sleeping Giant Senate leader. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. Car plows into hospital emergency room in Texas. We have more breaking news. Once again, EU needs own nukes. All this information, I'm gonna throw. Uh, I'm gonna throw all this information in one video. Um, there's been a lot of uh, breaking news coming out today, so I'm just gonna throw all this in this one video. It's gonna be a little long, but uh, again, guys, uh, make sure you share the video. Uh, the biggest one is uh, Texas. All right, so Texas has been seeing a lot of stuff. Uh, you guys already know there was a, a Joel Osteen church. Uh, and then this one here. Uh, and again, guys, you already know the southern region uh, is completely almost sealed up. So um, they're saying the car that rammed into that uh, emergency room, supposedly it was an accident. But uh, uh, we're going to see what's going on there, guys. Before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 US Highway 19. Number two, Holiday Florida, 34691. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your support, either through Patreon or PayPal. Your support truly helps out. Thank you so much once again. Um, also, guys, I just want to give a quick update. Uh, when I upload videos, you're going to see a couple of bots. People that has no life and needs Christ. They're gonna be posting disturbing stuff in the comments box. I'm trying my very best to remove these bots. Now these bots has been removed from Twitter. Again, X. Uh, Elon deleted almost 14 million account. Now these bots are slamming Instagram. They're already slamming YouTube and Facebook. So you're gonna see like their comments saying, you know, provocative stuff again i'm trying my very best to re uh to remove those comments so just uh bear with us and pray for these people these people just again they need christ they truly truly need christ uh also uh a lot of my articles sometimes these articles that might have uh again like advertisement of uh shoes or swimwears and stuff like that so i'm trying my very best to keep the channel all clean so again guys sometime you know they have those advertisements i don't know but uh, again there's nothing uh again there's nothing i could do about it i can't remove it i mean i could remove it but it pops up again so i try to keep the channel clean i try to keep the comments clean but it's like man it's like the devil is still you know Try, uh, trying to get involved. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, pray for those uh, mockers and scoffers and the bots and all that. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We're going to start with this one. The Line 65 natural gas line between the cities of Bawunjin and Sakregort in central Iran had a reported technical malfunction earlier tonight. Uh, which resulted in a large explosion and a fire to occur. The fire could be seen over from over 30 miles 
away with several firefighting and emergency response crews attempting to get control of the situation there. It's nothing to, to suggest that this incident has anything to do with ongoing conflicts in the region. All right, so I guess this, <clears throat> this is just an accident. That's what they're saying. But this is a huge blast. This is a gas pipeline. And I'm going to share this link in my Twitter page. If you guys want to check out the video, follow me on Twitter. The Twitter link will be in the comments box. All right, let's see what's going on here. We're going to start with this one. A massive fireball, a column of smoke were captured in videos circulating online. A large blast has erupted at a gas pipeline. You guys already know gas pipelines happening all over the place. Texas, excuse me, it was Oklahoma, I believe. Oklahoma had a gas pipeline. I mean, it's happening in various places. Now, they keep saying it's under investigation or there's nothing to worry about. But my, but my gut tells me this is, uh, again, there's a possibility it might be hack hackers. So it's not only tanks. It's not drones. It's Again, it's not World War One or World War II equipments that we have to uh, worry about. But technology could also be a weapon. The biggest uh, war is your thoughts, the things that you think. Uh, again, we are battling against the thoughts, the temptation, the things that uh, we accept into our uh, our hearts. So it's very important to put on the whole armor. It's very important to repent. It's very important to stay in prayer because the real war is happening in your head. And you know, again, you got to make sure your heart is pure. All right, so a large blast has erupted at a gas pipeline in central Iran. All right, so it's coming out from their news agency. All right, so citing local officials. Now, evaluation teams have been dispatched to the area to survey uh, the damage. Now, the explosion erupted in the early hours of Wednesday morning near the city of those regions. I'm, I'm going to skip their names. So the terrible sound and then the fire was caused by the explosion of the main gas transmission line of the country, line 65, between um, Hawaii, Paz, and Badaji Highway. And fortunately, until this moment, no one was injured or injured. So there were no casualties, this person said. The commander of the uh, Borajins, the Department and Security Services, was quoted as saying. Look at that blast right there. Give me a second here, guys. All right, so I'm just going to skip this one. Let's go back to the breaking news here. All this link will be shared on my Twitter page if you guys want to check out the video. Footage making the rounds on social media uh, purported to show the aftermath of the blast with a bright fireball and tower of smoke seen rising into the sky. Okay, so this was a quick breaking news on uh, Iran's key gas pipeline. Let's go with this one now. What's going on with Chuck? Chuck has been a, a very, very, very uh, mad man. Uh, he's very upset that the uh, the right is not giving the bill of $95 billion. So he's uh, opening up his mouth and saying, We're going to send sleeping giant soldiers if we don't get the money. We're going to send the soldiers to fight the bear. All right. So the bear leader, Vladimir, and the red dragon leader, Qing Yanping, will, will regret challenging the sleeping giant. <sighs> sleeping giant love to open their mouth. But uh, again, just too much, too much barking, not bites. Chuck was speaking following an upper house uh, to continue funding the yellow and blue. All right, so this is going to be my third video about the uh, funding bill. So the sleeping giant senator from both parties coming out in support of 
the package for the yellow and blue and ISR is a powerful signal to the bear and the red dragon, as well as Washington allies. This is coming out from Mr. Chuck, said on Tuesday. The 100-member chamber approved the $95 billion uh, national security funding bill with 70 votes in favor over, excuse me, in favor and 29 opposed. Now you have eight of the right senators spent most of the night filibustering against the proposal. Today we make the bear leader regret the day. He questioned the sleeping giant resolve and we make clear to others like the red dragon leader not to test our determination, Mr. Chuck said in a speech after the vote. And we send a clear bipartisan message, uh, message a resolve to our allies in NATO. Chuck is really sending a message here. Chuck also praised the passage of the bill as greatly impacting the security of Western democracy. The bill will give the yellow and blue, look at that, $61 billion. It was 60 now they added another billion. $61 billion in aid, as well as $14 billion to the ISR for its war against those groups. And almost $5 billion for Taiwan. Meanwhile, Hawaii, nothing. Idaho, uh, not Idaho, Ohio, nothing. California, Nothing. The southern region. Nothing. Nothing for the sleeping giant. Nothing for the sleeping giant who are struggling. Nothing. And people still love Mr. Burns. In the end times, the minds of many will be given up to a reprobate mind. Uh, meaning their minds will be malfunctioned. They will no longer know the truth. They don't know the truth. They won't see the truth. They will be blinded. They will be blinded. Was bad as good was uh, good as bad. Was peace as war. Was war as peace. We love Mr. Burns, even though Mr. Burns, Joe, is responsible for over 200, 300,000 of the bear and crane soldiers uh, gone in two years. The WH originally uh, bounded um, it with a border reform proposal, but proceeded with uh, foreign aid only after the left and the right could not agree on the southern policy. You know, I remember growing up, Sleeping Giant always come first. I remember 2001. When that first, when that first, I'm going to use a metaphor, when that first stone was hit, the bird came and hit that stone, and everybody was in shock. I was in high school, and I was in a, you know, in the principal office. No, no, you know, I didn't get in trouble and stuff like that, but I, I don't know why I was, oh, I was there because uh, I was transferred, um, but um there was a TV in the office, and everybody was in shock. And this teacher, she was crying. She was crying. She's like, my husband's in that building. Everybody was in shock. And then when the second stone got hit, from there, we all looked at each other and said, yeah, we are at war. We are at war. The sleeping giant always comes first, needs to come first. That day, uh, that day, everybody came together. There was no such thing as a left or a right. There was no such thing as a Republican or Democrat. Everybody came together that year. We all came together and we worked together. And that was the uh, sleeping giant moment. It was a sad day. And I remember George, the leader, back in 2001. He said, we're going to secure this land. And we're going to make sure the sleeping giant comes first. Sleeping giant, we will never see this again. 
We will never see this again and we will seek vengeance. I remember that speech from George. Let's go to 2024. The doors are open in the southern region. Joe, Mr. Burns is sending money to other lands. Sleeping Giant has been left behind. We no longer first. There's going to be something really big that is going to strike. It's going to be worse than what happened to those two stones that fell. Sheriff Jones is sounding the alarm. His, his message is trending. He's saying we're going to see big things. These people ain't nice. They're coming with backpacks, and you best believe they don't have grocery food in those backpacks. I just read an article. 300 of the Red Dragon citizens came to this land. A couple of days ago. All right. So it says here, though it has passed in the Senate, the bill now needs the backing of the House. So you have two things going on here. The Senate passed the bill for the $95 billion, And the House got the impeachment. So the impeachment has to go to the Senate and the bill has to go to the House. So you got two things going on here. You have two things going on here. And I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. They're going to tell Mike, Mike, we can make a deal. This impeachment here, you got it. We give you the impeachment. We will give you the impeachment. We will take out, uh, you know, replace uh, Alejandro. But I want you to sign that bill. We need that money. I give you the sudden, the money for the sudden. Actually, they don't. Yeah, he got the money for the sudden. It doesn't need to be in the bill, but he has the money. When I say he has the money, uh, the leader, the sleeping giant, he has the money. He will give him the sudden money and. Uh, he will replace Fernando with someone else. So I got a strong feeling that these two, the House and the Senate, uh, give me a second here, guys. Give me one second here. It looks like someone's knocking. Give me a second. All right, so I truly apologize. That was my dog was scratching. So, yeah, it felt like someone was knocking. I'm like, who's knocking on my door almost uh, 11, uh, 11 p.m.? So, guys, just pay attention to what's going on. This is a game of chess. You have the Senate. Uh, the Senate has the, uh, the bill for the $95 billion. The House have the impeachment. The House got to send it to the Senate. The Senate has to send their bill to the House. Something big is coming. All right. So uh, I'm going to skip this one here, guys. Uh, but uh, once again, you have Chuck uh, flexing his muscle. Chuck knows something. Chuck knows something. The House, Mr. Mike, has previously described the proposal as dead on arrival, with so many of the right winning to cross the aisle to back the left when it comes to funding the yellow and blue. It is entirely possible that the bill might pass and make its way to Mr. Byrne desk. Once again, Mike, you want the impeachment? We do it right now. But we want you to sign that bill so that way the leader could sign it and give the yellow and blue country $61 billion and give those land money because we are at war. What do you think, Mike? We will give you for, uh, Alejandro, and we will give you the $20 billion for the sudden. You give us the money. That's what's going to happen. I got a strong feeling that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We have um, this one here. Car plows into the hospital emergency room in Texas. What's going on in Texas? 
at least 10, including a young one, were impacted in the incident. Sending, uh, sending prayers for quick recovery. So at least one person was out and several more wounded. Wow, one person passed away. My condolences and, and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Um, once again, a vehicle smashed into a Texas ER. According to local officials, several young ones are believed to be among... Man, how in the world did that happen? How in the world did that happen? Um, the car crashed through an entrance at St. David's uh, North Austin Medical Center in Austin at around 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening. Now, the Austin Tex Travis uh, County Emergency Medical Service said, noting that the two young ones and one adult suffered potentially serious injuries. Two others sustained non-life-threatening injuries, the emergency service added, after initially reporting a total of 10 wounded. Now, you have the blue detective um, later confirmed one has passed to the Austin American uh, statesman, uh, while the city's blue department noted that the crash appeared to be unintentional. The driver has passed in an apparent accident uh, through a charger uh, noted that it was unclear whether the crash was the cause. Once again, I'm not going to play the video, but... I will share this video in my Twitter page. Please be aware that uh, this, this could be a little disturbing. So, again, if you have any young ones, again, you know, the story could be, the video could be uh, kind of uh, not for young ones, put it like that. All right, so EU needs own nukes. So, the sleeping giant won $95 billion. They want equipment. They want to give everything to the yellow and blue. And at the same time, they're saying that the bear is going to start war. Um, who's the one that's sending a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of stuff? See, the bear leader today, he said that he wants to work some kind of peace proposal. Let's end all this. And the sleeping giant responded saying, no. We're not going to end it. We don't want to talk. We just want to continue. Continue what? This? NATO can't depend on the sleeping giant protection forever. A prominent member uh, party has said, well, if you guys want nukes, uh, you're going to have to worry. Uh, again, don't be calling the sleeping giant. Help us, sleeping giant. The bear is coming after us. Yeah, don't be calling the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant allies in Europe should have should not have to keep relying on the sleeping giant for NUKE deterrent. This is coming out from the German ruling party top candidate for the upcoming European Parliament election, said on Tuesday. This person, the leading MEP from Chancellor Olaf, I'm gonna skip all that information, was asked to comment on the recent remarks by the sleeping giant presidential hopeful 4-5 that the sleeping giants should not um, defend NATO allies who fail to meet their payment targets. In view of the 4-5 recent statement, we can no longer rely on the sleeping giant providing European NATO members with its uh, nuclear umbrella. Barley told the German Daily uh, I'm gonna skip. Uh, I'm gonna skip that information. So the European bomb could become a step on the way to a European army. Yes, but then you're going to have to. Uh... That's between you and the bear. Because something happened between you and the bear, you cannot be calling the sleeping giant for help. If the sleeping giant stops supplying the yellow and blue with equipment. The EU will have to take on um, this responsibility because we must take the bear leader threats seriously and behave accordingly. 
I'm trying to figure out why these people think the bear is a threat. I'm trying to figure that out, guys. I haven't seen the bear send any equipment uh, in Europe. I, again, I haven't seen the bear point their nukes at Europe. I haven't seen the bear do anything to Europe. All right, so she accused the bear leader of publicly questioning the territorial integrity of Poland and Lithuania. I guess she's referring to the interview uh, when he was speaking about the uh, the history of Poland. Um, so Barley's remarks were condemned by Martin, the leading EP candidate. Uh, he told AFP that the appropriate answer to nonsense coming from the 4 or 5 was not nuclear proliferation, but de-escalation. It would be more sensible to have an EU that is committed to a policy of reconciliation, disarmament, um, and social justice across borders. This person said, accusing the ASFD, oh, excuse me, SPD, of saber rattling. More atomic will not make the world safe. Right on. More atomic will completely obliterate everything. Um... But as we move forward and forward, we're going to see a lot of things, guys. We're not going to see, uh, again, a peaceful world for eternity. There's going to be world events. Scripture tells us, you know, we must prepare for big things. And in time, the battle of Armageddon, that will be the final one. Now, this ain't the battle of Armageddon. We're not even there yet. But, uh, again, uh, at the very end... Uh, uh, scripture tells us that we must prepare ourselves and uh, make sure that our lamp is filled with oil, meaning fill your mind with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God and seek for Christ, for Christ is the only way. Focus in Scripture, focus in the light and the righteous path, because the world is going to see its end pretty soon. And this is one of them. More bombs will not make the world safer. I, I agree. Pointing out that the current global arsenal can destroy the planet 50, to 50 times over. Instead of dreaming about nukes, the SPD should push Germany to finally sign a treaty on the prohibit, uh, prohibition of nuclear, and said the leader of the... I'm going to skip that name there, guys. Give me a second. So both the Sleeping Giant and the EU have sent tens of billions of dollars worth of equipment, a lot of equipment, and more equipment to the yellow and blue over and over and over the past two years, but have struggled to keep up with the yellow and blue country capital demands. The four or five comments were made at an election rally addressing the failure of a dozen NATO members to spend the agreed upon 2% of GDP on their uh, militaries. One sleeping giant commentator has called for giving NUKE to Poland. Oh yeah, very smart. Yeah, let's give them uh, NUKE. Yeah, that'd be awesome. In order to fortify proof the sleeping giant policy on Europe, Warsaw has yet to officially comment an idea. The former bear leader, Dimitri, has warned the sleeping giant that any direct confrontation with the bear would quickly go nuclear, urging sleeping giant and EU leaders to be honest with their people about the instead, uh, this instead of treating them like brainless. Woo. Here's the thing. Only a few people knows what's really going on. We know what time it is. We know what's really happening. A great majority of people, they just really don't care. Uh, they think Mr. Burns is the greatest. They think that, uh, you know, the yellow and blue country is, uh, is something that we need to defend. Why? You talk to one of them 
yellow and blue supporter, why do we have to, to I mean, why do we have to defend them? They won't come out with an accurate answer because there's no answer to it. There's no answer from, from the sleeping giant leader. Why should we defend? Because it's our duty. Okay, but why? Because the bear is bad. Okay, that's that's your opinion. That's okay. Why are we uh, sending a whole bunch of uh, equipment to the yellow and blue to stop the bear once and for all? I'm still stuck here. Can someone explain to me why are we trying to take out the bear when the bear has done absolutely nothing? It seems like the bear is in a path of the abomination. Those that support the abomination, those that want to spread the abomination throughout the entire world, that's the sleeping giant. Remember June, the month of June, the sleeping giant celebrate the abomination. Remember the sleeping giant loved... Guys, even MTV, they are sharing the abomination commercials. <laughs> Man. And so they want to share the abomination. But the bear has put their foot down and say, uh-uh. No. We don't believe that. And so the bear knows that uh, the sleeping giant want to share all that. And the sleeping giant wants to put nukes in the yellow and blue country. That's why the bear went inside the yellow and blue. But there's a lot more to it. But if you ask anybody, why are we helping the yellow and blue? Because the bear leader is bad. Who told you that? My TV told me. Oh, I, you know, I see videos on TikTok. Fill your mind with scriptures. Drop the phone. Put the phone away. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video. Uh, we are praying for the people in uh, the Texas uh, emergency room. Uh, my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost a loved one. That one driver had passed away. Uh, multiple young ones were, were injured. So we're praying for many of them. We're praying for the world. At the very end, uh, Scripture tells us that we must pray for our leaders and pray for our government. And we do pray for our leader. We pray for our government. But at the same time... You know, we, again, we try to uh, give you guys the best info, things that happen in the world that lines up to scriptures. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.